We're going to just look at a cosse first. So you're doing hands separately just up to bar four. Right hand starts on high D. So here's middle C. So you need to count up two whole octaves plus one extra note to get to high D. Okay. We are doing semi-quavers and quavers in this music. So I've suggested counting it using the one and two and counting. Now, first of all, you have to count into the music because it doesn't start on count one. It st starts on the second half of beat two. So it starts on an and count. So here we go with the counting in. One and two. And one and two. And one and two. And one and two. And one and two. Okay, so just listen carefully to make sure you're doing that rhythm correctly. We have these very short staccato notes, so the little wedge sign is very, very clipped. Okay, what we don't want though is to accent it too much. So try not to do this, I'll count in again, one and two and we don't want that really so it is all forte so you can afford to play the whole of it fairly strong one and two and one and two and one then bar four is slurred with a staccatissimo on the end and that's C, A sharp and B, okay? So not too difficult to start with. The left hand starts on G, it is in the bass clef for the moment, for the first two bars, so that's G, just four notes down from middle C. Playing on each beat of the bar, the one and the second beat, one and two and one, go to E. Now we have a treble clef sign just before bar three, and that means that that next note is an F sharp because of the key signature. So you're actually taking the finger over to play F sharp. Four on the D and thumb on the G, which is tied. Okay, so just watch that left hand again. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, and off. Okay, so we're just keeping that hand separately for the moment.